In this chapter, we'll demonstrate VariAudio 2.0's new capabilities. VariAudio 2.0 now has the ability to harmonize monophonic lines with ease and create by-the-book voicings. Let's start by setting up a basic monophonic vocal part. Somewhere in your sleep, you must know that I'm weak. Click on the audio segment that you want to harmonize. Don't just select the audio track. Pick the actual musical component that you want to work with. Open the audio menu and select the new option for Generate Harmony Voices. This function will automatically perform a very audio analysis. It will also automatically copy the event based on the number of voices you select. And then it will place those copies onto separate tracks in the project window. And if you have a chord track in the project, Cubase will automatically alter the new voices to complement it. Let's look at the basic function first. Enter the number of voices you want to create and a vibrato strength. Let's start by creating two new voices. You can see that after processing, we have a total of three tracks, the original plus two new voices. Somewhere in your sleep, you must know that I'm weak. Well, let's undo that and try again. This time, I'll engage the option to open Sample Editor after function completes. The Sample Editor opens and gives us direct access to all three voices at once. And you can see that all three voices are already converted into segments. Let's undo that again and try for four voices. Somewhere in your sleep, you must know that I'm weak. Since we don't have a chord track in this project yet, Very Audio applies the following rules. The number one voice, the soprano, is transposed up three semitones in relation to the original audio. The segments for voices two, three, and four, which are alto, tenor, and bass, are transposed down by three, six, and nine semitones, respectively. Let's undo this again and go back to a less complex harmonization to see how the chord events impact very audio. Let's harmonize again, but this time just using two voices. And look at the pitches which very audio selected for this segment. Somewhere in your sleep. Let's remember this. Now, let's undo it, create a chord track. Use the pencil tool to draw in a chord event and double click it to open the editor. Now define the chord. Now, let's generate the same number of harmony voices again and compare this harmonization to what we got on the first pass. Somewhere in your sleep, you must know that I'm weak. Very Audio 2.0 also has the ability to follow any changes in the chord track. Open the Chord Track tab in the Inspector and select Follow Mode. And let's have it synchronize the data first. And if we change the Chord Track, the Very Audio parts will change too. Take a listen. Somewhere in your sleep, you must know that I'm weak. If you use the option to open Sample Editor after process, Very Audio 2.0 allows you to edit multiple Very Audio parts across multiple tracks at once. Clicking on any segment brings that voice into focus. You can also use the Current Event menu to select the active part. You can use the Very Audio Segment Color option to configure the view for easier editing. Automatic applies the familiar yellow, blue, green, and red color scheme. If you turn on Edit Active Event Only, your actions will be limited to the highlighted voice. This is helpful for making surgical changes to one voice when you don't want to disturb the others. If you want to edit multiple voices at once, disable this option. And you can select and edit groups of segments from different tracks and different voices at one time for endless musical possibilities. 
Now let's explore the new musical possibilities in Haley and Sonic SE, coming up in the next chapter.